Hello everyone. A couple days ago, a new pair between USDC and USDN was added to the swap.fi protocol. So today we'll talk about what USDC is and how to use it on swap.fi. So before we start talking about swap.fi functionality, let's talk about the USDC itself. So I think that you have heard about USDT or Tether USD, which is a stable coin packed to the United States dollar and issued by Bitfinex. USDC is kind of same, it's a centralized stable asset packed to the United States dollar, but it was issued by Coinbase and Circle. And it is also powered uh, by Ethereum, so it is issued on the Ethereum network. You can find more details about USDC on coinbase.com slash USDC. But now the first thing we have to understand is how to get USDC on your Waves account. So the easiest way is to go to Waves Exchange, log in, and uh, in the wallet section, find USDC. And here there is a button called Receive. So if you click on it, you see an instruction how you can get USDC from the Ethereum network. So if you own USDC in the Ethereum network, you can transfer it to your Waves account. Here is an address where you just have to transfer your USDC. The only thing you have to remember is that the minimum amount of deposit is 10 USDC. The next option how you can get USDC is actually to buy some USDC on the Waves network. You can do it using trading section on the Waves exchange. So here you can find a pair between USDN and uh, USDC. So you can buy it here. Or you can buy some USDC using swap.fi protocol. So on the swap section, you can uh, select USDN, for example. You can uh, pay some USDN. In my case, I would buy, uh, I would pay 5 USDN and I will get uh, 4.97 USDC. So I can click on swap. As always, I have to approve a transaction with my Waves Exchange account because I'm logged in using my Waves Exchange account. I have to wait a couple seconds before the transaction goes to the blockchain, and that's actually it. So now I have 15 USDC, so let's swap it back because I will need the USDN as well. And yeah, it takes like a couple seconds just to approve transaction and wait uh, while the transaction goes to the blockchain. So now let's talk about USDC features. It has a couple features. And the first feature is that it has a special formula on Swapify. So there is an article called uh, Swapify Pricing on Medium uh, where you can find details about how different pools work on Swapify. Almost all pools use a formula called Constant Product Market Maker. Uh, and the idea of uh, this formula is pretty simple. Here is the formula itself, actually. X by Y equals K, where X is the amount of token X, Y is the amount of token Y, and K is just a constant value. So the smart contract always follows this equation. Uh, this equation was introduced by Uniswap team, so it is pretty simple, and it works... Uh, perfectly for pools where prices are different. But if we do have a pool like USDC, USDN, or uh, USDT, USDN, this formula works not so well. So uh, there, there, was, uh, there is actually a, a product called, called Curve, and they introduced their own formula, which works much better for uh, two, price, two coins with almost same price. So... Uh, the Swapify created their own formula. It, it is inspired by Curve's formula, by Curve's approach, but it's slightly different. Here is the formula. I'm not going to talk about this formula too much. The only thing I want to mention is that uh, this formula allows to reduce the slippage. And this formula is called flat. So almost all other pools work with CPMN formula, while uh, USDT, USDN, and USDC, USDN work with a flat formula. And as you can see on this graph, the slippage will be much lower. So if you want to find more details about how it works, you can uh, go to Swapify uh, blog on Medium and you can find more details in this article. 
So now let's go back uh, to other features of uh, USDC. And uh, the next feature is that it has much lower fees compared with other pools. So, uh, for example, if we choose here Waves and USDN, you can see that the fee is 0.3%, while for USDC, USDN, it's just 0.05. So it's six times lower. Uh, now let's talk about uh, the pool. Let's see what are... Uh, what, what kind of information we can find about the pool. Uh, let's go to the information pools information tab. Uh, it usually takes some time to load. And here you can find USDC USDN pool. It has the highest liquidity right now in the protocol. And you can click on it and you can see how many tokens. Like uh, there are more than 3 million USDC and uh, 3 million and 46,000 uh, USDN. As you can see, there is very, very small disbalance. And that's why actually um, prices are different. That's why you won't get uh, 5 USDC if you pay 5 USDN. So the smart contract's price depends on the amount of coins on the smart contract. And it also affects another parameter. Uh, we will talk about it a little bit later. Now let's talk about how you can provide liquidity for this pool. Uh, you can go to the pool section, find here USDC, USDN pair, add liquidity button is here and you can click on it. And uh, here is the next feature. Uh, as with USDT, USDN, you can provide liquidity using only one token. So if you click on this checkbox, you will be able to choose in which token you want to provide liquidity. For example, you can add liquidity using only USDN. Uh, in almost all other pools, you have to provide liquidity using both tokens. But here you have an option, provide with only one token. And as you can see, it also requests different numbers. So you may expect that USDN and USDC, both of them are packed to the United States dollars and uh, it should request the same amount. But numbers here depend on the smart contract and on amount of coins on the smart contract. So if there is a disbalance, a small disbalance of uh, these coins, then the amount will be different. So now let's add a liquidity. Let's say we want to provide 5 USDN and it requests uh, 4.67. You can click on Supply, Approve a Transaction Using Waves Exchange Account. As always, it will take a couple more seconds while it goes to the blockchain. That's it. So the transaction is sent and we provided liquidity. If we go to the Investment section and to the Farming section, we will see here our share tokens, which we got uh, from the pool when we provided liquidity. And here is it, USDC and USDN. So to get more profit, you have to stake uh, your share tokens. So uh, if you stake your share tokens, you will get swap tokens. There is the only way how you can get swap tokens. So uh, let's click on stake and uh, stake all share tokens we have. Let's confirm it. And that's it. If you want to see what is the profitability of the pool, as always, you can go to the information, post information, click on the pool, and here you can find um, here is the AP, total APY and uh, swap uh, token APY. So you'll get this APY only if you stake your share tokens. Uh, and also, I wanted to mention that. Now, if you want to provide liquidity using only one coin, so for example, if you want to provide liquidity using only USDC, then you have to keep in mind is that it is more profitable to provide liquidity using the token with a less amount of the smart contract. As you may remember, there are less USDC coins on the smart contract right now. So it will be more profitable if you want to provide with only one coin to provide it using USDC. So I wish you max profits uh, and uh, happy journey with uh, Swap.fi.